Hello everybody, it's Dr. Rick. You have to excuse my voice. It's been a long day and I've been going. It's a little scratchy, but <clears throat> uh, look, I am going to get straight to the point. You guys have heard me talking about this uh, for weeks on end. We've been a fundraiser and honestly, I think we have in the last, I think it's been 12 weeks that we start pushing it uh, the way we have been pushing it and in that 12 weeks I think we've ra raised somewhere around six seven hundred bucks um, and we do so much that you know that's a drop in the bucket but again for the people who donated it I definitely appreciate it um, we need your support um, you know uh, if I were a person who just popped up you know, came out of nowhere. I've been doing this for 30 years. I've been online doing this since 2010. Um, but I've been doing this for 30 years. Uh, 26 books written, lectures, research papers. The research has turned into programs like Black Men Lead, Restoring Ghettos, Forgotten Daughters, that my, um, still want <laughs> to call it that, but Marion. Uh, Marion's baby. Uh, we do work with uh, young women who are suffering from childhood sexual abuse, uh, intimate partner violence and homicide uh, for children who, whose pa uh, pa uh, parent has been murdered by their spouse or significant other, mental health for black men. Uh, I have done workshops on child uh adverse childhood experiences matter of fact uh, i think i showed you guys this did one with harris county sheriff's department uh in wellspring uh a couple of months ago um and on and on i mean you know advocacy programs um and all of this i do out of the love that i have but it requires support uh i give you something every day uh, that you can look into that you can grab hold to that you can work with um, i'm opening emails every day where somebody's dealing with something a wrongful arrest uh someone struggling with finding mental health uh support someone um dealing with trauma and can't get the support they need trying to get these programs like black men lead on a national level so we can create a rite of passage uh so that we can um properly socialize our young black males which will reduce their proclivity to violence increase their graduation rate reduce their incarceration rate increase their likelihood of becoming married and sustaining families it's so important to get them on a pro-social uh, path and we have designed and created the program we need your support my goal is this weekend to raise five thousand dollars and i know it seems impossible looking at the fact that we haven't even been able to get beyond six hundred dollars in 12 weeks but i don't think it's because we can't do it i think that it's easier to just simply look the other way i think it's easier to click the like button click the share button and keep moving I looked the other day and just on this channel alone now keep in mind they they snatched the original so this channel actually here is only a few years old they snatched the original behind some BS and so um, they're still with it just being a few years old approaching somewhere like 2,500, 2,600 videos of me sharing and giving you what I've learned. Um, 26 books approaching everything from miseducation to uh, generational trauma uh, and so much more. I'm given to this and I will remain given to this. There are a couple of times I just felt like giving up. There are a couple of times I said I gave up and quit. Uh, but it's not in me. It's not how I'm built. But I'm challenging you. Don't look the other way tonight. Don't look the other way if you watch this. Whatever day you watch this on. 
today is thir uh, it's Thursday night. Uh, what is it? Uh, June 8th. I know it's possible. And I'm challenging you. Don't look the other way. The people who give themselves to this thing, this isn't a popularity contest to us. This isn't, you know, we, we, we're just looking to see how many people are like it, how many people are share it. This is us saying we are willing to go to the mat for our people, but we need your support. We need you to get on code. We need you to say we'll pay for something more than entertainment and, 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 and really get behind some things that won't be flashy, won't have a whole lot of laughs, but what you will have is a foundation on which we can educate our children, foundation on which we can properly socialize our children, a foundation on which we can re-strengthen the black family, which has been under an all-out assault for the last 60 years. And without the black family, we will not have the foundation on which we can inculcate values, interests, and principles into the minds of our youth. And we're going to expect them to get up at some point, discover it on their own, figure it out on their own, and go out and wage war against those who were prepared from childhood to defeat them. And we keep wondering why we land in the same place because we want to take the casual road. We want to take the safe road. We want to step back. You know, I'm supposed to be actually editing, editing the video that I did for uh, this whole thing with Asia and how they are behaving and acting towards this Disney movie, Little Mermaid, because it has uh, Halle Bailey in it. And it's so much deeper than that. And I'm hopefully going to get that up tonight. But I'm just sitting here and I'm looking at just how anemic the support is. And... It, 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 it shouldn't be that way. Not when people are giving their lives. Like I said, I didn't just pop up. Go look at the Odyssey Project site. There's 700 and something articles alone on different topics that outline solutions. There's an entire blueprint for black empowerment that I worked it actually brought before some of the elders and ancestors. One of the elders was Dr. Claude Anderson and his wife, Joanne. This isn't a game to me. So I am reaching out to you and I'm asking you, show some love, show some support. There'll be a couple of links in the description box. There's not going to be a whole lot in this description box, just the way that you can give. And, you know, there'll be a couple of ways, cash app through the organization's uh, processor. But I'm asking you, don't look the other way. Don't click off. Give. I appreciate it. Uh, anybody knows me knows how passionate I am about this. Anybody that knows knows that if I don't get one dollar this weekend, I'm still going. But that that's is that how we really treat our people is they're going to do it anyway. So. I believe in what they're doing, but we have to do better. And from a person who lit, sits up and watches the other side when they get on code, they're literally getting, it's become uh, a new come up to mishandle us, kill us, beat us up, jealous. It's, it's a come up because Anytime somebody does something to us and then there's a pushback by us and we challenge law enforcement to get involved, they come over and say, hey, we're going to pay for everything you need to defend yourself. We saw it with the uh, killing of uh, Jordan Neely. We see it with the killing of A.J. Owens. We saw it with the shooting of uh, Ralph Yarl. It's a come up. They're on code. Our children are suffering. Our little boys are being targeted as early as five years old uh, in the educational system, being alienated, 
being disproportionately referred to uh, special education and getting special education assignments when they aren't warranted, uh, and then being diagnosed with uh, mental disorders like ADHD and oppositional defiant disorder so that they can be medicated with tropical uh, drugs like Ritalin, uh, Vyvanse, Concerta, Adderall, and these highly addictive Schedule II drugs are being given to five-year-olds. Nobody's worrying for them. A few people. I'm one. We have got to do better. On that note, look, I'm going to get off of here and see if I can't get back to editing uh, this video. But that's why I'm leaving it. So show some love. I'm out. Thanks.